Beastman requires that only licensed contractors perform installation and service on their boilers. Beastman also recommends attending their academy training, which covers all aspects of installation, service, and troubleshooting. Welcome back. We're in the training room again in Warwick, Rhode Island, where we're going to go over the three different venting methods for the Vitadin's 100 wall-mounted boilers. Here you will see the top of your boiler assembly, and this is where your venting will be attached. These two holes here are for checking the quality of your air intake and your flue gas. If ever in your piping you have to use a 45 turn or a 90 degree turn, you should always know that you have to use equivalent lengths when calculating your maximum pipe length or your total pipe length. And those are seen in this table here. If you are planning on using CPVC or PPS for your flue pipe, you must ensure that it is ULCS 636 or UL 1738. Otherwise, it's not rated for the temperature of the flue gas. You cannot use regular PVC for your flue pipe. The first method that I want to go over is the two pipe method. In order to do this on the boiler, you have to remove this cap and you have to peel out this center portion of the ring like so. And after you do that, you will be left with this open ring, which you will replace in the hole where you found it. And then you will take your two pipes, the air intake and your flue pipe, and you will put them into the boiler like so. Here in this figure, you can see the maximum lengths for the two pipe system. The flue pipe should be pitched back towards the boiler so that if the gas condenses inside the pipe, it will flow back into the boiler. The intake pipe should be cleaned to make sure that there is no debris inside of the pipe, otherwise it could be sucked into the burner assembly and possibly damage it. The second venting method is the single pipe system. For this one, we will leave this cap alone and instead we will remove this cap on the center assembly and we will take our flue gas pipe and simply put it in the middle and this will allow the intake for the boiler to come in through this outside ring. Here in this figure you'll see the maximum length for the single pipe system. As always you want to make sure that the flue pipe is pitched upwards to allow the condensate to run back into the boiler and if you're going to use the room air for combustion you want to make sure that there is enough for the burner to work properly and that the air is clean and doesn't have debris or chemicals in it that will damage the burner assembly. If you are going to use a flex pipe for either of these methods, you should know that you have to use a different maximum length calculation, and that's shown in this figure. The last method for this boiler is the coax pipe. And to put this onto your boiler, you simply remove the middle cap, take your pipe, and just press it directly on. And then you'll see in this figure the maximum lengths for the coaxial pipe system. I hope you found this video useful. And if you move on to the next one, we'll go more in depth about how to do the piping. For any additional questions regarding installation, you can go to our website, scroll down to contractors, and if you click on the Sales Network tab, you'll get a list of trained Viesman sales representatives who provide local support to our customers. Thanks for choosing Viesman and have a nice day.